On Wednesday, I talked about contentment. Today, I want to talk about fake it till you make it. It's a response to a video Justin Habit posted called Spare Change for Hope. If you haven't, one, subscribe to Justin Habit, and two, watch Spare Change for Hope, go do that now. I'll give you some time during the intro. The band Thrice on their most recent album called Beggars put out a song called Circles. In that song, there's a verse that says, True progress means matching the world with the vision in our head but we always change the vision instead. While it's very poetic, and while I think on a worldwide scale it usually is pretty true, I think that on a personal level, it doesn't quite jive with me. You see, I believe very much in the power of positive thought, and if you think positively about something, eventually that positive thing will become true. Thus, fake it till you make it. For example, if I think that I like my job long enough, eventually, I like my job. In one of the books of the Enders game series, and I can't remember which one despite it being my most favorite series of all time, Enders having a conversation with his very old brother, Peter, there's some relativity time travel thing going on, so Peter became much older than Andrew all of a sudden, and we won't go into it. But anyway, they're having a conversation. During that conversation, it becomes fairly clear that Peter, who used to be kind of a tyrant and a jerk, has become kind of benevolent and nice. And Andrew tells him, if you pretend to be something for long enough, you will become that thing. Or something to that effect. That got me thinking about the way we live our lives. If we pretend to be an unhappy, pissed off person, we will become that person. If you spend your entire working career thinking, God damn it, this sucks and I really want to retire, I really hate my job, even if your job is awesome, you're going to hate it. However, like the people on Mike Rowe's show, if you think, wow, this is a pretty nice job, I'm so glad that I have it, you might actually like your job, even if your job is shoveling pig shit all day. In his TED talk, Dan Gilbert talked about synthesizing happiness and how our brains are so damn good at it, which makes me think fake it till you make it isn't really that bad of an idea. We should just pretend that we're happy go lucky people, and eventually, that's what we become. In a way, that's how YouTube works for a lot of people, one of which is Charlie McDonald, and he recently talked about this. As YouTube content creators, generally, we're very shy, nerdy, basement of your mom's house kind of people, but we pretend to be a little bit out more outgoing because it produces better content and people want to watch that more often. As a result, we actually become slightly more outgoing and fun people in real life when we're off of the camera. Sure, sometimes it's only a slight increase, but it's an increase nonetheless because we've pretended to be someone that we really want to be. We strive for this thing and therefore it actually physically changes us or mentally changes us. I guess it'd probably be a mental change. Anyway, my encouragement is just to fake it till you make it if you hate your job. Just fake being happy and eventually your brain will go, oh, so I guess we're supposed to be happy all the time, huh? Okay, I guess I can do that. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Remember to rate, comment, favorite, all the great things. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping. I have a VU account or a VIEW account, I guess. It's the same thing that Hank Green started. Uh, basically, it's a video style of form spring. The link is in the down bar, the doobly-doo, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my two favorite uh, recent videos are linked over there. And I feel like that was all I had to say. Probably was. Anyway, see you guys on Monday. In one of the books of the Ender's Game series, and I can't remember which one, so I can't find the quote exactly, Peter is talking to Andrew, who is his younger brother, who is now technically his older brother. I don't know exactly how it works. Time travel in that book, it's weird. Anyway, uh, <laughs> near the end of Peter's life, Andrew says, if you be... Ah, gosh, that is hard. In one of the books of the Ender's Game series, which is one of my favorites, but I can't remember exactly which book it's in, so I don't remember... Ugh. In one of the books of the Ender's Game series, and I can't remember exactly which one, despite it being my... <laughs> In one of the books of the Ender's Game series, which is one of my favorite...